it's an auto park. Since I'm just trying, so yep. Okay, it says space found. Okay, wait for the oncoming car, and if this said drive forward, so I'm gonna move my car forward a little bit. Stop and release the wheel. Select R and wait. So I slowly release the brake and all the car do is trying to reverse itself in. You can actually see from here. And you know my hand is right here. I never touched any of the steering wheel. Okay now go forward. I like how that works. Reverse back. So basically you still need to manual uh, select the gear knob and control the brake so the car can actually park itself. So basically this is perfect parking. Auto park. Perfect parking. When it's done, you Okay guys, uh, I have been driving the Jaguar E-Pace for quite a while and then what I realized is that this car doesn't have uh, individual setting on how the ride is. I mean, in a normal premium section you actually can customize how you want the steering to feel how you want the suspension or the engine to behave according to the way you like it when you're driving you know normally have comfort sport sport plus in those german uh, cars and this one doesn't come with any of that you have a sport mode that is actually in this car is called dynamic mode. You have uh, snow, eco, comfort, and dynamic. That's four that four different driving mode. But there is no individualization that you can custom how you want it to be. So so far as I was driving for a while. I feel like comfort mode is pretty stiff like the sport mode and when you are switching to sport mode you know I I love Porsche I have been driven it extensively and Each of the different mode uh, actually feels different. This one between comfort and sport, there is not much different. The engine, the acceleration became a little bit more responsive, but that is just a software mapping. You don't feel the difference in the in the ride. Sport comfort, it feels the same. It's just that. See, this is a sport. Mode. Driving the car in the sport mode feels like. Um, it behaves a little bit more aggressive but actually it didn't really really feel there is a big difference than uh, 
comfort mode so to me I would want to have an entirely different behavior of the car when I am on the sport mode and yes I might be spoiled by the German premium cars which when you change the driving mode to Sport Plus it have, there is the music to my ear the exhaust sound pop, crack and bang it's just there when I drove the Jaguar F-Type there are plenty of it when I drove the F-Type the the joy of driving the sound that it gives you it, it was one of the best driving experience but on this e-pace there is none of that so I guess they are missing a little bit of stuff in the e-pace something that they can actually you know have but it's not there well anyways today I drove the car out for a photo shoot so I hope you guys like the photo and do follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel for the next fun car that I will actually bring out okay uh, the verdict on Jaco e -Pace. do I like the car? I think I like it enough but not for myself it would be for my other half because she need to pick up kids from school she need to uh, drive it to shopping and is she's not that tall so the car itself have a uh, sitting position that is fairly high which is about uh, 165 and every time she got into the car she always adjust the seat as high as possible so she can see the, her surrounding I mean <clears throat> that's a plus point and then uh, for myself I like to listen to music every single time I'm in the car Spotify is on so even though I'm driving at higher speed it's actually uh, the noise isolation in the car is, is, is fairly well so I can listen to my music at the same uh, volume level as when the car is stationed in the traffic jam then this car itself is good looking I mean if compared with BMW X2 or do we have an X2 here? Yeah. maybe I think the Macan or the GLC so yep this is something that the other half can live with not really for me because I I still need the car that when I want the spot mode it does making noise 
I mean, you know, who doesn't love the Bob Crack and Banks? But yeah, and it's but it's also it's safe enough for the other half to drive to pick up kids from school that it doesn't disturb the kid or other mom. So yes, you can head down to Jaguar showroom and have a look at the car. Cheers.